Okay, so we're almost done with uh, with having a look at our Office 365 tools. Um, there is another app that I'd like to have a good close look at. And just so that everyone's aware, if there is an app that you'd like to dive further into, like Sway, which I really recommend you opening that up and checking out their How To Sway. Um, it's an excellent presentation tool for yourself and your students. Or if you'd like to have an, a more in-depth look at OneNote, I'm doing my best to make sure we have about uh, 20 minutes to 25 minutes at the end of the session to dive into more specifics and maybe some smaller groups if people are interested in that. But moving forward, we have a look at an app called Forms. This is very useful uh, for creating quizzes and surveys and getting that kind of data from our students. I have a quiz that I'm that I've shared with you through the presentation and in a moment I'm going to ask that you go ahead and complete the quiz but if you are creating a form or a quiz you simply click new quiz for example give your quiz a title and you could give it a description if you so choose and you have the option of creating a multiple choice question a question that requires text, a rating scale, or a date. And the date is uh, different. It's for perhaps scheduling, but also I'm thinking more like uh, very knowledge and understanding based questions. So if you did a rating question, for example, you'd go ahead and input your question. You can insert media like a video clip or an image, and that'll go with your question. You can make a question required or not required. My my gut tells me that most of the time we'd be making each question a required question. We can adjust the point scale and when we click add question we can add a new different type of question depending on the type of work we're trying to get out of our students. And of course as always the key and the beauty of our uh, of our digital collaboration, our digital tools, is that ability to, of course, collaborate. So if I've created an entire quiz, I can go and share it by copying the link or creating a QR code for students to scan with tablets, phones, etc. An embed code, you're probably a little bit less prone to use it but you end up putting this in a web page or into a Sway, for example, or straight to an email. Most often, you're probably going to share with a link, like I have for our presentation today, or a QR code. I think I'm going to cut the video right there and ask you to please go ahead and click into the quiz link for forms that I have put into the presentation that I've shared with you. So that we can generate some data. It's, again, it's just a fun quiz. We can generate some data, and then I can show you uh, what you can do with your response data when you make a quiz with Microsoft Forms.